how to create compelling content. Have you ever heard that before? Or have you heard that what you need to do is just put out a bunch of content on every media there is? See, that's where I first got started. Hey, hang on to the very end, because I got just an unbelievable free resource with you that was gonna help you grow your online business to six figures. Mark Nelson here. When I first got started in my online business, man, I was told I need to post everywhere. I first got started doing blogs, and they told me to blog every day. And then they told me to get on social media, that I needed to be on social media, and I had to be posting three to five times a day, and I had to be on Facebook, I had to be on Instagram, I had to be on Pinterest. Man, I, I got worn out. See, I was all over the place, and I really wasn't doing anything. But the idea of content is you want to write compelling content. And what do I mean about compelling content? Content that actually is providing value to your target market. And that's where I'm headed here right now. So hang on, hang on, because this is what you really need to do first. You're step one and you've probably heard this. You need to find you need to find your perfect customer, your avatar, right? The person that you want to talk to. See, most people don't take the time to really nail this down. Now, I didn't. I didn't know who my ideal customer was. I was talking. I thought I was going to sell to everybody. Man, I had what everybody wanted. But not everybody wanted to hear my message. So I had to figure out who am I really talking to. And if you want to be successful online, you do too. Now, you can, might have more than one, but you really need to find your ideal customer. And to do that, you're really going to need to spend some time writing out who you think you're serving and who do you want to serve. But you got to ask some questions. And I'm going to give you some great questions. In fact, 14 of them, and I wish I had a great memory. I don't. So you're going to catch me reading. But I have some great questions. The first one, right? Who are you talking to? You know, when we're getting into online marketing, there are three areas. is It's health, it's wealth, and it's relationships. So one, what are you passionate about? Where are you headed? That's the first question. Then when you're talking about your avatar, your ideal customer, are they male or female? You know, which gender are you talking to? Is it both? Right? Who are you talking to? What do they look like? Are they young? I mean, I, you really got to pick it out. I, I have my ideal customer. And to tell you the truth, when you figure this out, it's usually your ideal customer is the person you were before you got started or as you got started, and then they changed on their journey. So what do they look like, right? How old are they? What's their hair color, their eye color? How tall are they? What's their weight? I already mentioned this, how old are they? Are they single? Are they married? Are they divorced? Are they widowed? See, it, it depends what you're doing, but at the same time, those are the questions you gotta answer. Do they have children? How many and what are their ages? Hey, you know what? I do have a great resource because I have a worksheet that you can work on and answer these questions that will help you grow your business. The next question, what's their education level? I mean, what, do that, what does that matter? So are you take, talking to somebody who is never finished high school or maybe they have a master's degree Maybe they have their doctorate degree. See, I have my master's degree. It's educational leadership. It's in leadership. Imagine that, right? <laughs> what do they do to earn a living? Right? Are they blue collar? Are they corporate? Do they have their own business? See, I talk to people who have their own business or are trying to have their own business. What books do they read? Or if they don't work read books, what audio books do they listen to? Or do they listen to podcasts, right? And again, going back to me, I listen to podcasts. You know, I use my car as my educational college right now. 
everywhere I go, I'm listening to somebody. And I have my favorite people. People are teaching me how to run my business. Where do they hang out online? Are they on Facebook? LinkedIn? Instagram? YouTube? Pinterest? Twitter? Or are they in your email inbox? See, all that is so necessary. Who do they follow online? They follow Gary V, Marley Jacks. Do they follow Tony Robbins? Do they follow some health person? You can tell I'm not big in wealth. My, my area is wealth. I help people create wealth, right? What inspires them, right? I mean, those are the things what you have to know. What do they do with their free time? Are they golfers? Are they like me? Do they like to pontoon? Or are they like my wife who likes to hike? Because what happens is you need to really get inside their head. Are they happy where they are in life? And why or why not? I mean, all of those might sound really goofy. And again, I'm going to give you that free worksheet down below. Actually, I have two freebies for you. But what happens is that when you are talking, if you are building a business online, when you start talking to these people and they start warming up, all of a sudden they start thinking, wow, how did he know what I was thinking? It's almost like he's in my mind. How does he know that I don't know what I'm doing? How does he know where I want to go this next step? See, that's what it's all about. Now, now, no, no. Here's the biggest one, the biggest. What is their biggest pain or frustration in life? What keeps them up at night? Do you know what mine was? Mine was I wanted my wife to be retired. And I didn't know how we were going to get there. That was my biggest pain. And I started listening to people was how to build an income. That's what I wanted to do. See, now, let me talk to you about this. We were talking about how to create compelling content. The first way to co create compelling content or write compelling content, you need to know who you're talking to. You need to know who your ideal customer is. See, the whole idea of this exercise and the worksheet I'll drop below in the, in a link down below is you got to make sure who you're going to serve. You got to, when you're talking, you got to know who, who they are. You got to keep them in mind in your head, head, in your heart. And then when you start making content, guess what? You start talking to them. See, when you know your ideal customer, content creation is easy. It really is easy. Because when I start, I do a lot of YouTube videos, and, and I think that's where my co my ideal co customer, client, is. Because they're searching out how to do this, how to do that. So when I start doing YouTube videos, I know what I want to talk about. I know what they're thinking about. I know what they need to hear next. Here's what I'd like you to do next is hit that subscribe button. Give me a like, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell that goes ding. So you make sure you get in on all my videos. And then in the description below, I actually have two freebies for you. One is how to create a six figure online. And the second one is how to find your ideal customer. You take care and we will talk again soon. Bye.